Hey guys, so in today's video I will be reviewing another Model 1's dip kit since you guys have really been liking the last couple of dip videos I've been posting. So I will be showing how to create this beautiful manicure and let's get right into the video. So this is what the Model 1's dip kit looks like. It comes with six different colors, all of the dip liquids, and then a brush. And here is the outside of the packaging again. So opening it up, I'm just going to take all of the products out and they come neat and packaged in this little container, which I actually think is really helpful for storing dip powders as well as any other manicure tools. So here are these six different dip powder colors. They are a standard size jar. They aren't super big, but they aren't super small. And I'm going to be taking all of the colors out. And there is a pretty wide range of colors in this kit, which I really like. So here's just a look at the six different dip colors. So there are three pinks and then a purple, clear, and glitter. So all of the dip powders come sealed, which is really nice so that none of the powder spills out and makes a huge mess. So here are the three dip liquids, the base activator and gel top coat, along with two extra brushes in case the ones in the bottle harden up. And this is really nice that they include these just because sometimes the dip powder brushes can get stuck together. Then there's also this fluffy brush to remove excess powder. And I've already prepped my natural nails before the dip powder application. And now I'm going to be choosing my colors. So I'm using the purple and silver glitter. And before I do the actual dip powder application, I'm going to apply my Oont Peel Off base coat just because I want easy removal. So I applied a thin even layer of this to all of my nails. And this will allow me to peel off my dip nails once I'm finished with the manicure. And in this video, I actually included the removal at the end, just in case some of you were wondering what it looked like or how easily they removed. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. And then after letting my peel off base coat fully dry, I'm going to be going in with my number one base liquid and my colored powders. So I'm starting off by applying a thin, even layer of base to the entire nail, avoiding the skin and cuticle area, just because we want a nice, even application. And then immediately after applying the base, I'm going to dip into my powder. And for my pointer, middle, and pinky nail, I went with the purple color. And then on my ring nail, I'm going to do that silver glitter. And this colored dip powder went on really nice and smooth. It was easy to apply and it wasn't super grainy, which is really great. And then I'm going to be dipping into my glitter nail on my ring finger, like I said before. And this glitter is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite dip powder I have for Model 1s, just because it is super holographic and glittery and it looks super beautiful on the nails. So here's the first coat of dip powder, and as you can see, it's still a little bit sheer, so I'm going to brush off any excess powder and then go in with a second layer. So now I'm just applying the second layer of dip powder, and I'm following these same exact steps as before, and I feel like some of my dip videos get kind of repetitive because I say the same things every time, but truly the application is the same for any brand or color of dip powder. So yeah, it's a very simple technique and I really like it because I find that it works very well and leaves you with a beautiful long-lasting manicure. So I'm just dipping into the powder for the second time to get a fully opaque nail. And here you can just see that holographic sparkle on this glitter nail, which is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this powder and honestly would recommend this kit just to get this powder because I think it is so pretty. And now I'm just finishing off my second coat of color. And here's what the second coat looks like on all of the nails. So I'm going to brush away any excess and you can see here that I have full opacity. And now I decided I'm going to go in with a transparent layer and this powder came in the kit, which is super great because you can encapsulate your nails. So this is sort of an optional step that I really like to do so I protect the color underneath. Now all you have to do is apply a thin even layer of base like we've been doing for the color and then taking a cuticle pusher or a little spoon or anything that can scoop up the powder, you're just going to sprinkle the clear over the wet base. And I'm actually just using the cover of the dip powder as sort of a catcher so that I can pour any excess clear back into my jar. 
And the reason I like to do sort of a clear encapsulation of the nails is so that when I file down the surface to make it nice and smooth, I don't actually file down the color, I'm filing down the clear layer. And this will help keep the color nice and even so that there aren't any streaks or patches. And this technique especially is important for the glitter nails because you don't want to file all of that beautiful shine away. So I just repeated a clear cap on all of the nails. And this Model Ones Clear Powder is really great. It isn't super grainy, which is nice because when you apply the base coat, you won't see any of those little grainy pieces. So once I'm done with the clear, I'm just pouring it back into the jar, and then I'm wiping away any excess powder still on the nails, and now I'm going to be going in with bottle number two activator, and this will help harden up all of the nails and make them ready for filing. And I highly would recommend doing this step, just because without it your dip nails would never dry. So make sure to apply a generous amount of this to all of the nails. And I even went in for a second layer just to make sure that they were fully dry and hard. So after applying the activator, I'm just tapping the nails to see if they are ready to be filed. And if they make a sort of clicky sound, you know that they are ready. And I'm just buffing over the surface of all of the nails to make them nice and smooth. And then taking a nail file, I'm going along the free edge and sidewalls to smooth out any bumps or ridges and refine my shape. And finally, we can go in with our gel top coat. So after removing all of the dust after filing, I'm going to apply my top coat. And for being a dip powder top coat, this one was actually really nice and had a super glossy finish. However, typically I wouldn't recommend using the dip powder top coat. I would recommend using a gel top coat instead just because I find that it lasts longer and keeps the shine on the nail longer. Here are the completed nails using this Model 1's dip kit, and like I said before, I'm going to show removal. So here is how easy these nails come off with that peel off base coat. So all I'm doing is taking the other side of my cuticle pusher and sort of prying up the nails from one side, and then I just slowly move the tool under the nail across the whole surface, and it will eventually just pop off like a little shell. And I can usually get my dip manicures to last about four or five days with a peel off base coat before they pop off and the manicure is no longer on. So here are all of the nails after removing the dip powder. So you can see there is a little bit of excess glue and resin on the nail, but that can easily be removed and the dip nails came off very easily and my natural nails are not damaged underneath. So I want to mention that I do have a 15% off code for this dip kit. It is KATEMODP03, and this will get you 15% off this dip kit. So here is my beautiful completed manicure using this Model 1's dip powder kit. I really like how these nails turned out, and I just can't take my eyes off that silver holographic glitter. I think it's so pretty, and I would highly recommend this kit just for that powder. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be sure to leave the link to all of the products used in this video below in case you are interested. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.